Hi, I'm Ron Jaworski, and you're watching PressPassTV.com. Hi, I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks for joining us. This is PressPassTV.com. You're about to meet a guy named Alan Hall. Very competitive, very good at what he does. In fact, he's the nation's best. So voted by Top Chef Bravo's reality show. You know what? Just check out the segment. You'll see what I'm talking about. So you're going to glaze and rehydrate these. Cramped cooking, New York studio apartment style. You'd never guess that this corner kitchenette produced Bravo's top chef. When I'm cooking real food, I like having a proper kitchen. Um, but, you know, they say it's a good, it's a good, it's test of a great chef to be cooking in limited, excuse me, cooking in limited, um. Is this how you treat all your tools? No, no, it's not, it's not, that's not a serious tool. But, wow, I just magically it appeared back in my hand. Ilan Hall earned his place in reality TV history by first flaunting that magic touch on his audition tape. His meal of choice, ramen noodles, the college kid's cuisine of champions. Right here. Ramen noodles, right ramen here. Ramen noodles, right here. I think in this pan, actually. And actually use this mayonnaise. I finished it off with a little bit of mayonnaise because um, that's all I had in the Oops. That's all I had in the fridge. All I had was mayonnaise and, and ramen noodles, and it was good. So good, in fact, that the 25-year-old Long Island native cruised past the competition to claim his crown. And now he's enjoying the benefits. Wonderful. Lots of great support from people. Um, New York had a huge fan base. Had a, had a, New York had a huge, you know, following of the show. So, so I get lots of really good positive feedback every single day. Are people trying people to claim on now? No, people are, just, people are just being really nice and respectful. And, um, I mean... There have been some nasty things said on blogs on the internet, but what are you going to do? With the good comes the bad. Elon's acid tongue may have rubbed his opponents the wrong way at times. On Top Chef, he's happy to admit that he rarely held back. You were the guy with the mouth on Top Chef. Is that well, a reputation it depends. you it like depends. Yeah, it's who I am. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to care what people think about me if I'm just being myself. I'm going to throw out one other name. Absolutely. The big heavy hitter, Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray didn't want to take a picture of me, with me in South Beach. Really? Yeah. For the latitude? Got some beef with that bitch. No. That confidence carried him onto the finish line, and he's not afraid to use that attitude at home, especially when cooking for a date. Women like fish. Anything you, you can cook almost anything on a stovetop, I feel. Um, do like a nice sautéed fish, a nice salmon. Women like salmon. Um, sometimes, if not, they like chicken, but always, always lie and tell them that it's it's boneless, skinless chicken breast and just use thighs because it tastes so much better. There's more fat. Just get them, get them boned and say they're, say they're all natural breasts. Ilan's a little more subtle, though, while cooking for me. Nice. I'm all about using high-quality products. And, you know, simple food prepared well is m more important than anything else. You know, this is just like a breakfast sausage type thing. Not traditional in the United States. Adding a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Need some help there. There you go. That's really good. I'm not a sausage guy either, so. Okay, good. With the flair and style all of his own and a little fame and fortune to help pave the way, Alan has big plans for the future. I absolutely want to open my own restaurant. Whoa! How much of a challenge is that? Um, it's difficult opening a restaurant. You, know, you have to. You have to really, really work hard, and it takes up your whole life. So that's why I don't think right now I'm, I'm necessarily gonna, gonna do it immediately. But, but it's it's always been my goal coming into this. And never say never when it comes to a possible return to reality TV. I've been actually trying to work on a show, a cooking show based out of my apartment, to sort of. So people that live in small cities, small apart in big cities and small apartments can really make wonderful meals with very limited supply and um, and space. Oh, that's all right. That's something that Bravo's top chef knows all about. Mark Jacobson, PressPassTV.com. Well, we hope you enjoyed that segment. Thanks for joining us here at PressPassTV.com. We hope you come back real soon. For the entire PressPassTV.com team, I'm Michael Arts is saying so long. Be terrific.